Bosch has had a mountain of skeletons pour out of his closet. Referring to. Oh. Justifying CP by making blood diamond arguments. Pedophiles, right, who buy child porn. Mm -hmm. Would you say they should not be held responsible for doing that? Yes. If, if I, because I, I bought my computer and the silicon in it was farmed in Africa by slaves. If I can do that and that's legal that's... and no one's going to call me out in my shit, then yeah. I have to be consistent in that respect. And when called out for this, Vosh cries context while explaining the exact same context. People are just like desperately cutting any kind of clip, like, you know, like Frankensteining clips together and, and, and hoping that, you know, something uh, incriminating comes out in post. It's, there's a lot of that, unfortunately. Calling out Asmongold for talking about censorship in anime, saying it's for people. A dragon maid, king of pedophile animes. I'm not watching this shit. While having his girlfriend draw Lolly of the exact same anime. Doing the Belle Delphine anime prawn face. Making fun of the anti Lolly meme, please no lewd. He has an old review of the exact same show, rating it highly. Bosch's response is to make an hour and 40 minute video where he doesn't directly respond to anything his critics say. Making it sound like everyone's mad just because he's so awesome. Do you feel like the people who do these character assassination pieces think they're punching up by targeting you? Probably not really the case with Ethan, but I think that a lot of them do get frustrated with my seeming persistence in spite of how much people dislike me. He doesn't say Ethan's name a single time in his response video. How are you going to make a response video when you don't respond to the person who started the drama? He does this because he's trying to manipulate his audience. If you make it seem like this is old and has been addressed, well then none of it is a big deal. It's a wildly dishonest video where in the end Vosh makes it seem like he's a victim of false allegations, which is hilarious because Vosh has pushed actual false allegations for two years. The next person, Extreme Dad, who is a pedophile, has my picture. He, he actually is a pedophile. He, yeah, we banned him from our Discord server because he was flirting with 14-year-old girls. Today we'll be debunking and exposing Vosh's lies. It's comedic and disturbing. You could be a human with a horse stick. Yes, but then I wouldn't have that powerful stallion energy using it. There you go. That's it. That's the whole thing. You didn't do anything illegal. It's not criminal, but it feels like it should be. Just like those monthly subscriptions you signed up for, forgot about, but are still paying every month. I've been paying two monthly subscriptions to watch wrestling for the past two years, and I didn't even know. I signed up for the free trial, thought I canceled it, and then signed up again with a different email. And I would have no idea I was doing this if it wasn't for Rocket Money, where after giving them a bit of your personal information, they're able to cancel subscriptions on your behalf. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance app that helps you save money and spend less. Recently, I've been using it to budget. Now I'm able to invest, pay bills, and still take the lady out on a nice date every now and then. It was my first step towards actually adulting. Come, take it with me. It's never too late to start. Rocket Money makes it easy, saving customers an average of $740. If you want to save more and spend less, then join the over 5 million people currently using Rocket Money. Then go to rocketmoney.com forward slash Willie Mac to start for free. Thank you, Rocket Money, for sponsoring today's video. Mama mia, mama mia, mama mia, mama mia. I'll be making fucking dough in the pizzeria. Vosh's response is incredibly sneaky when it comes to him addressing the criticism. He will hang on to one part of the argument and then act like that's the entire argument. The criticism against Vosh is that he was found with Lolly on his folder. Seemingly a lot of Lolly. Lolly is sort of the confederate flag for pedos. Everyone who owns it isn't necessarily racist, but I don't blame people for assuming otherwise. Vosh is of the same opinion. The thing that bothers me is people who pretend there's no relationship whatsoever between like drawn lolly shit and actual attraction to children. There's, of course there's a relationship between those things. Ridiculous to pretend otherwise. Repeating it again in one of his response streams. The thing that I've always said that I stand by entirely is that if you're into lollycon, like, people always say this. People always say, bro, it's just drawings. Okay. Drawings of what, right? Civil War, okay, states' rights over what, you know? It's emerged that he's been watching Lolly for years, liking depictions of Disney girls, turned into Lolly with chum all over her face, on his private account. If it was anyone else, Vosh would call this guy a pedo. It's his own logic. This, for a lot of people, puts those old CP arguments he's been making in a different context. Like, oh, you need to explain the difference between act and rule utarian? Let's use pedophilia. This is super duper simple, okay? A utilitarianism act utilitarianism is about considering the consequences of a specific action okay it is possible please uh, please right now uncuck your dumb shit libcuck sjw brains and recognize this empirically correct fact that i am about to spit it is possible for an adult and a child to have a sexual relationship and for it to have positive outcomes on the child as well. However, categorically, we discourage those relationships because as a rule, 
it is substantially more likely that enabling them would cause harm in society. That's the difference between act and rule utilitarianism. You're saying by definition there's exceptions to the rule when it comes to pedophilia. Of course the lolly guy made this argument. It is the combination of the two things. Vosh ignores all of that and only addresses the clip. I've addressed this for years. Everything we're about to talk about has been discussed over and over and over again on this channel uh, in, in live streams and in videos. Some of it has been discussed to death. Or is, is this clip like so dishonestly cut that, you know, no reasonable person would interpret it as looking bad if seeing the full context? I'll also cover some of the more bullshit accusations because, I, 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 I don't know, they're transparently bullshit, a lot of them. I feel like you would have to already dislike me to to read anything from them it's not out of context it's that the context has changed you have been exposed as an avid lolly viewer that is the context bosch won't engage with h3h3 has made this very clear from the start how do you square that with the dude having a folder full of lolly porn mm. like doesn't that change the context at all for you seeing it, all of it this? should this defense by the way may have been believable up until we found that he is actually consuming lolly I mean, stuff yeah, I feel like the context of how, how everything happened. It's all changed. Vosh never confronts this line of reasoning. In fact, he doesn't show Ethan at all making his arguments. The only reason you made this video is because of Ethan. Show him giving his side. I'm doing that for you. Vosh doesn't because there is no good explanation. He's caught right-handed. So all he could do is focus on one little bit of the argument and then act like it's the entire thing. He re-explains the child slavery argument for the majority of the video. Over the background of my mediocre Dead Cells gameplay, an argument with chat on the subject of foreign labor and unethical production was getting increasingly heated. In this country, um, typically uh, uh, criminalized people who have procured me uh, media or resources which were the product of abuse. Yeah, there you go. We've all heard the child slavery argument. That context has been given by everyone day one. How does that change the argument? He goes on about how he was a debate bro and how it excuses these dumb arguments. Because I and a lot of other people in the Discord server believed arguing controversial topics uh, through inane hypotheticals made us cool and smart. Like I said before, it does reflect really poorly on me, but only in regard to my uh, intelligence and character, not any sort of paraphilia. We know this, but how does it change the argument? It doesn't. It doesn't address a thing. It's a great argument if you ignore all the lolly, which is where the entire conversation stems from. It would make sense, all that kind Too of long. stuff, that he was edgy back in the days, but... We did see your hard not drive. Not with the fucking. That's we what saw I, your hard drive. That's what I keep, I keep coming back to. On the like, hard drive! And there's been, If he had made this video two months ago, it probably would have been a good move, right? To just yeah. like all at once address all these old clips <laughs> of him that have been floating around. But like <laughs> now the circumstance is pretty different. It's pretty different now, isn't it? When Vosh finally addresses the clip of him admitting to wanking it to Lolly all the time, he writes it off as a joke. We've all jerked it to Lolly at some point or another. We have at some point in our lives been going crazy on some hentai site and we've been fucking stro <laughs> stroking as hard and fast as we can and then after we nut we go back look over our history chat and we go like oh geez oh boy some of these girls looked pretty young yeah this one definitely sounds rougher than the last two clips uh, uh, but it's uh you know it's a bit it's a joke a bad joke i can explain it I, I don't think that'll make it any funnier bro you had it on your computer he tries to write it off as a joke he made to show how big of a problem lolly is as if he was being virtuous the intended comedy element of an indiscriminate whirlwind masturbator being used to draw attention to a problem that problem being the ubiquity of Lolicon in hentai sites. I, 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 I don't really know how anyone could get like a serious vibe from that. Like there's any kind of like, you know, grave point being made. People are saying that because in the full clip that you cut off early, you say that you don't care. Fast as we can. And then after we nut, we go back, look over our history chat and we go like, oh, geez. Oh, boy. Some of these girls looked pretty young. Okay, I don't give a fuck, all right? Turns out the only one taking Vosh out of context is Vosh. Pair that with you having it on your computer and it makes a lot of sense. For someone who cries missing context all the time, you don't portray the argument here accurately at all. Again, it's not a funny joke at all. I mean, I cringe looking at it. It's great evidence against me if the point that people are trying to make is that I was or indeed still am cringe. When Vosh addresses him liking Lolly of a little Disney girl with chum all over her face, he's equally dismissive. I, I think they found one that was like the character was meant to be a teenager. 
you know, like, and it's not surprising to me that that might happen because, you know, I'm running between classes, scrolling on my phone. Uh, I look at an image maybe two or three seconds before I like the degree of scrutiny required there indicates that this goes beyond some kind of like matter of personal temperance and extends broadly into like, how weird is it that that's something that's been that normalized? What is he yapping about? It's not normal to be walking between class frantically liking porn on mass. You have a problem. And if you don't have the personal temperance to take the time to see if something is depicting a child or not, you need therapy. You know, people, people are going to say what they're going to say. They can judge me for what they're going to judge me for. I think a lot of people have been real and charitable. Uh, you know, I, I think it's insane to say this like, ah, yeah, it's a pedophile. You got him. The charitable argument Vosh wants is that none of this is weird or matters. None of us should be worried. We're all just supposed to be blind. It's unreasonable. This guy's admitted in the past that he has minors in his NSFW Discord. Ellie Rogers 12, I know there are kids with the pervert role in my Discord. How could we possibly prevent that knowingly? Just not have NSFW work in your Discord. Boom, it's that easy. I find it disturbing that you knowingly partook in this with your fans without having any safeguards for their age. I could look past one of these things in good faith, Two of these things maybe, but ignoring all of it would be foolish. He blames it on anime culture. Again, it's not really an evidentiary argument that I can make, so, you know, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, God willing, anime culture will get better one day. Uh, I wouldn't hold my breath, though. Zero accountability, zero reflection. Can you imagine me using this excuse for being racist? What am I supposed to do? I'm Italian. Hopefully Italian culture changes soon. I doubt it, though. All right, I guess he's going to keep looking at Lolly. Bosch's defense for having Lolly on his folder is that he didn't know it was there. One or two people came into chat and they said, uh, hey, there was Lolly in there. And, you know, I figured they were just causing trouble and I banned them. Of course, we know where this is going. Uh, by the next day, I had learned from what felt like the entire goddamn internet that two of the images in my folder preview window uh, were actually from a well-known Lolicon artist and therefore definitely it intended to be lolly shit, which has to be the worst possible way to find out about that sort of thing. Vosh is being very sneaky with his language. Two of those pictures were lolly from that one single artist, but most people would argue that the folder was full of lolly just from different artists. The obvious and predictable, but nonetheless true response from me is that no, I didn't know that. And that must not have been the uh, impression I got from those two drawings, because if I had gotten that impression, then I wouldn't have saved them. He tries to sound so reasonable. I'm on your side. Lolly is bad. Drawings are abstractions, and art styles and body proportions vary massively, even for characters that are unambiguously adults. That doesn't mean lolly shit isn't a thing or a problem. I've bitched about it being a problem, like, a lot on stream. It just means that carelessly or inattentively failing to notice it isn't exactly impossible. He does it all the time. The Disney girl, his folder, his girlfriend drew it for him. He has a history of CP hypotheticals. Miners in his NSFW Discord. In Discord he wrote, if you want to f children, wait 20 years for VR lolly porn and don't tell anybody you use it. And especially don't defend it online. That's the best we can hope for. It's too much of a pattern to be this convenient accident. I can't think of a single person online that has done all of these things. We saw a tiny bit of that folder. Much of it was lolly. Common sense says much of the rest of it is too. It is a good trade to be charitable, but there's a limit and Vosh would never give that same charity to somebody else, even if they probably deserve it. I don't know why I feel like shit. I will not see a therapist. Before we get into the false allegations that Vosh has spread, it's important to understand his mindset. To Vosh, everyone else is a Nazi or a white supremacist. If you're a Republican, you might as well be straight out of Hitler's regime. The issue with liberals right now is they don't understand the stakes, you know? Liberals should be treating Republicans as what they actually are. Evil and immediately threatening. Now, you can talk with them all you want. I love talking to folks. You saw that convo I had with the uh, LDS person last night? Friendly convo. Um, I don't want to, you know, it's not an intrinsic thing. Bring Republicans over. Save them from themselves. But this, the threat right here, it's what we faced in Germany. By we, of course, I mean the progressive left and everyone else, by the way. It's that the belief that this type of political movement can be squashed by anything other than militant, aggressive political action has failed in the past. So what, you're just going to mow down a bunch of Republicans? So that's what we need to do. We got to bring liberals on board. They got to own the guns. They have to be practicing at the ranges. Break the law. I don't give a shit. Don't hurt any innocent people, of course. Psst, but remember, Republicans aren't innocent. 
Wink, wink. But be wacky, you know. Throw some bricks. Don't care. They need to put the fear of God in Republicans. No, we're talking about the, the greatest country on earth, the God-given U.S. of A., and preventing you... the takeover of fascism. This, this is the line? Yeah, I draw the line at murdering and intimidating your political opposition. That would actually make you fascist. Vosh's entire audience agrees with his sentiment. Republican Party wants to sanction your gay and trans friends as criminals and pedophiles. Don't let the people you love get hurt. That sounds ridiculous, but literally. A man running for senator made a campaign ad calling his opponents rhinos. Republicans in name only. He's getting rid of the rhinos, the fake Republicans. That's the gimmick. The senator got dragged by other politicians as well as news media. Critics immediately slamming the ad as a call to violence. Texas Democrat Joaquin Castro describing it as sociopathic, warning Greitens, you're going to get someone killed. Vosh also finds a problem with this, comparing it to the Night of the Long Knives, which is when Hitler consolidated power. Anyway, the ad was a essentially just like, like, listen, we are fascists, and when we are in power, we will cull the people who did not support us on the way here. You know, that was essentially the ad. So I looked at it, I pointed out what it was, I compared it to the Night of the Long Knives. Bro, you openly call for violence on Republicans all the time. You can't have it both ways. You squash fascistic movements by winning the violent clashes. Remember during the Black Lives Matter rallies, you know, there were like those Patriot Prayer dumb fucks rolling their you know, $60,000 trucks through, like, urban neighborhoods with a bunch of guys with guns in the pickup trucks. When that happens, I want people to be able to take shots at them from apartment windows. He's not joking. Don't do that, you'll end up in jail. His entire political campaign is to get people to vote Democrat by fear. Like, the world is going to end if a Republican becomes president. All we have right now is this shit. So, I can't convince people that Biden's great. I just can't. But I can convince them, legitimately, that the Republicans are dangerous. And I need people to fixate on that. And I need them to be yes. armed. And I need their communities oh, armed. Yeah. When, the, when the democracy fails, Republicans will be getting their updates from DeSantis on, like, you know, how many children they should be killing that day. If your entire campaign strategy preys on the outrageous fear that Nazi Germany is coming to America, it just makes it sound like your party has no good ideas. White supremacy can be very vague. White supremacy can be very definite. It's very difficult to pin down exactly where somebody falls in that spectrum. I'm just interested in promoting anti-racist policies and anti-racist beliefs. I'm sure Count Dankula is a libertarian and a lover of freedom will agree with me on virtually every prescriptive statement that I have with regards to race, and we shouldn't really have much to argue about. Uh, but I thought I was a white supremacist. I thought that was the point of this. And also, I, 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 do, I do enjoy that your definition is very, very vague. That's, that's, that's awfully convenient. It's vague so everyone can fit it. Which brings us to Vosh's false allegations. Say I'm fine, but I'm not fine. I'm dying inside. Extreme Dad was an active member of Vosh's Discord that should already tell you that he was a bit of a socially weird guy, and he came off to Vosh's audience as a conservative. You know, these people tend to be individuals who haven't experienced life, who haven't been out in the real world and really done anything, and, um, you know, they're in here telling me and criticizing me for my beliefs. Dad thinks a wall is a good answer for immigration. You know, there's certainly a crisis down on the southern border, um, and that... There's no easy answers. It's nuanced and complex problem. You know, there's nothing that's going to solve everything right away. You know, it's going to be a crisis continuing on, but a wall is a good place to start. You know, a wall is a barrier between us and them. Remember, conservatives are all Nazi fascists, so the other social rejects in Vosh's Discord took it upon themselves to frame dad as a pedo. Life ruination's okay if you're a conservative. A known 27-year-old woman in Vosh's community tried to flirt with dad in DMs. They talked kinky. Then she tries to get him. I look like most 14-year-olds, haha. You okay with that? Dad responds, if you're under the age of 18, I wouldn't be okay with a sexual relationship with you. She says, I like sexual relationships. How old are you? 14. And dad destroys her with, well then I suggest you seek some constructive lifestyle choices and spend less time exploiting other people with your fake ass bullshit. She acts confused and he says, this is the way people act over there, huh? Yeet, and then he blocked her. Dad handled it like a champ, right? Well, that didn't stop Vosh's community, his girlfriend, and Vosh himself from running with the narrative that this guy's a pe- Extreme Dad, just, just to clarify, just so everybody knows, we have a person in our Discord server who occasionally, when they feel as though there might be creepos around, pretends to be 14 um, to see if they can bait any creepos. 
doing God's work, right? But he didn't fall for the bit, Vosh. What could you possibly say? That's a lie, Hina. Extreme Dad, when there's smoke, there's fire, and we literally have screen caps of you doing it. Why, why lie to yourself? Extreme Dad, why can't you just come out and say, I'm a proud ephebophile, and I want to absolutely clap some underage cheeks. The screenshots Vosh is talking about are clipped before the girl gave him the fake age. Again, she was a well-known adult in his Discord. Dad's begging Vosh in chat. I didn't fall for it. You just want me to stop telling the truth. Should I, should I ban you from this? I don't want you like courting any kids here. We have like a DM system over this website. How many, how many chicks are you messaging right now, Extreme Dad? I know a few of them that are underage. I'm not giving you their names. Hold on, so Vosh has alternative proof that this guy is inappropriately messaging underage girls and he still hasn't banned him. Not admitting anything? Extreme dad, this isn't a court of law. Everyone here already thinks you're a pedophile. Why not just own it? And that, just, just, Extreme dad, I feel, I feel like the lying is like, makes it work. Like if you were, if you just stood up, and you were like, yeah, you know what, fuck it. I, I do go for that sweet teen pussy. And then dropped shit and left the chat. I mean, no one would like you, but there would be a certain level of respect for your uh, uh, bravado, I think. What? Again, of course it's the lolly guy who says this. Listen, Extreme Dad, I'm giving you a 24 hour, okay? With love. Why would you only ban somebody who you think is a pet? for 24 hours. It makes Vosh seem even creepier. Flirting with 14 year old girls saying like, um, um, or something like, you know, I can be your daddy, you know, I go rough or some shit like that, knowing that they were 14. We had to ban him from the server for that. We've got screen caps, logs, everything. It's, it's incontrovertible. Vosh has zero evidence for anything here, by the way. It's just what his Discord is saying. And what's funny is Vosh finds himself in a very similar position today. Hmm, where's that sympathy, Vosh? Hmm, where's that charity to at least look into the situation before going live with these allegations. Dad would beg Vosh to look at the evidence one year later, so he could finally get some closure on this whole thing and stop his community from calling him a pedo. And Vosh replies, we haven't mentioned you on stream in a long time. Nobody is directing hate towards you. Your community tried to entrap him because he's a conservative, and when it didn't work, you still ran with it. Saying, ooh, too bad, showing zero remorse. This was all documented by Will and his channel. The video has only 4,000 views, so Vosh ignored it. Without Will, this would have all been swept under the rug, so go support him. There is infinitely more evidence of Vosh being being a pedo than extreme dad. With dad, they're a lie. Vosh likes to act like he's in the same boat. Some folks online have called me a pedophile. Now, this in and of itself isn't actually that noteworthy with the political climate being what it is. Folks are getting accused of being pedophiles on Twitter left and right. It's pretty common. There is factual based reasoning for why people feel this way about you. And the way you acted with dad means you deserve it. Vosh had no sympathy for dad. Why should I have sympathy for him? Why does he get to act like the victim? Oh no, I guess I'll just stick to furry porn. If you watch anime or go to any hentai site you are going to be bombarded with sussy shit which is why for the most part i stick to furry drawn porn because it doesn't have anywhere near that issue what a freak if i cannot have my hands i i will die i will kill myself yes. i see people defending vosh by posting childish looking woman dressing up as childish looking characters stop it just makes you look like a predator i've also seen the trans activist keffels comparing vosh getting called a p to when gay people get called pedos. the lgbt community are wrongfully called people by some people online just for being openly gay. Vosh is called a pedo because he jerks off to cartoon drawings of children, minimizes CP in debates, and admits to having minors in his sexual discord. These are not the same. Let's not drag LGBT people down with lollies. That's insane. We got one last video on Vosh diving into his past, his ridiculous politics, and his many hypocrisies. So subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out Rocket Money in the description. Shout out to the homies over on Patreon. Phoebes, Crimson Glass, Christina Bina, Mac Monkey, Drink Kobex, Necro Valley, Stefan Bildman, Abby Black, Eddie Bizzle, Tiz Fitz, Christopher H, TV Anthology Reviews, Kinklemore, Senial Music, and the Mega Homies, Reynold Hughes Hellison, IGP, Cone, Zombie Fox, or Taxi, Latchkey Gothboy, Cyber Katie, Lori Loaded, Papa Gut, Caden Luland, Luis G, XO Irish XO, BA Subway, Balkan Load, Zero Phonic, Derek Deuce, Strictly Patrick, Kitty Cat, and Expect Nothing.